reason for Tron life. With us, we have a Tron as our candidate from South Africa. No, not that. He's crypto guy in South Africa. Let's hop on to the interview. Hi, crypto guy in South Africa. My name is Jason. I will be representing Tron Live to conduct this interview with you today. Okay, can you give us a brief introduction of yourself? All right. So, um, as you know, I'm my username is Crypto Guy in South Africa or Crypto Guy in ZA. I'm a guy in South Africa, 34 years old. Uh, been in the IT industry for over 13 years. Um, so, yeah, IT is my game. I've been involved in that. Um, and then, yeah, I'm involved in the cryptocurrencies, working with that, playing around with that. And yeah, I hope that, you know, from a Tron perspective, you know, I can be active in this community. Okay. How do you get into blockchain field? How do you think about cryptocurrency in general? All right. So, you know, from a blockchain perspective, um, you know, in South Africa, cryptocurrency and blockchain, you know, it's still quite new, you know, uh, it hasn't been that active yet, but really the way I got involved, you know, I, I work with a lot of software from a work perspective and, you know, we, a lot of people were saying, you know, how can we start using blockchain? How can we start uh, making use of this technology? And that's kind of where I started reading up about it, looking at it and, you know, the more I read up about it, I just, you know, took a liking to it, a keen to it and I just started getting more and more involved and then from there I started getting involved in coins, cryptocurrencies, and just dabbling further and further and never kind of turned back since then. Nice. Can you let us know when did you first came in contact with Trons? What's your opinion on it? I still remember the website was quite simple, it was black. But one of the key messages that stood out there, you know, was to decentralize the web. And what I liked about that is it was more than just a cryptocurrency representing a fiat value or currency, you know, it was going beyond that and doing some sort of application and making use more of that blockchain. So that's that's really what got me interested, you know, and I started dabbling again, you know, with buying some of the ERC-20 tokens for, to um, for Tron. And then as time went on, I just got more and more interested and I was quite impressed on how, you know, they were sticking to timelines, getting the development done and working more and more with that. So that just really drew me more into it. Yep. Tron is on track so far. Anyway, why did you decide to join Tron SI election? So, you know, it basically, you, you know, all started, like I said, you know, I started following it more and more. And then, you know, I saw that, you know, hey, you, you can participate in a test note, test note, you know, uh, the test net for, with a note. So, you know, I downloaded the software, I tried it out. Then I thought, you know, I'm the only guy in Africa running it, you know, on the African continent. And I thought, okay, so that's great. And then I just carried on running. I saw I could get myself elected. I could produce blocks. And then I said, you know, this is my next step, you know, you know, to get more involved in the community, to get more into Tron, this is the next step. So I said, let me just run for a super representative, see where it goes from there. And, you know, I have a passion for it. So let's do it. Good to have you on board. We haven't seen you talking about your team. Is Crypto Guy in South Africa a one-man show? Do you manage everything by yourself for now? So that's that's a good question to ask. So right now, yeah, it is a one-man show, and I'm not um, I'm not scared to say that. I'm proud to say that it, it is a one-man show. And um, you know, if we look at other deposit coins or you know delegate proof of stake coins, many of those coins are run with nodes that are one-man shows. It's only Tron that's kind of you know said you know consider having a team. So if we look at other coins, you know, none of them have teams. So I don't really think you need a team 100%. And if you look at these other coins, you know, they use technology to ensure that their nodes are up and running. I'll be doing the same. And then, you know, if we look at it from a team's dynamics perspective, even though I'm one guy, I've actively participated in the test and I'm active in the community. Um, on the test net, you know, whenever a new test net uh, resync is required, I'm one of the first guys in there. So. It is by no means saying just that I'm one guy that I'm going to contribute less. I think, you know, if we look at my activity, I've actually been more active than some of the teams out there. So, and I'll continue like that. And really, at the end of the day, you know, I'm enjoying doing this. So, if, you, if you're keen for a crypto enthusiast to be a Tron SR, then vote for me. But, yeah, that is me. Do you have plans expanding and recruiting more members in the near future? So I haven't really given too much thought about that, you know, 
because like I said, you know, I've just become a Tron Air, so I enjoyed the ride and, you know, I'm going to do my best. I haven't thought too much about, you know, adding extra members. Um, I believe, you know, just being myself, I can move quite fast. I can push out content. I don't have to worry about, you know, other members, how they feel, this, that. I can just do what I think is best for the community. And for now, I'm going to do that. If for whatever reason, you know, I do become an SR and there's uh, a reason that I need to grow, but that reason obviously has to be for the best of Tron a network, then yeah, I'll consider it. But for now, I'm just going to go with one man show and see how it goes. That's good. We check your current official website, cryptoguideinza.core.za, and notice you are good at providing educational education material. How often will you be sharing these Tron education materials? What else will you be sharing with the community this month? So, I'm definitely going to be sharing more videos, you know, some more how-tos, more things for the community. Um, I do like sharing that type of content because it helps grow the community. You'll see that I'm big in being involved in the Tron community and growing that community. I'm not really looking forward to making sub-communities. I'm really here yeah, just to try and help grow the community. And yeah, I'll provide more how-to guides and there'll be more videos. I'll also be trying to make a text version of my videos on Medium. I'm sure the community will look forward to it. Will you have any future activities specifically to promote this Tron SI event? Yeah, so look, going forward, um, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos. Um, leading up to the election date, I'll definitely do different types of videos. So one of the videos that I've started with is the whiteboard videos. I've released already two. I think I released one last night again. And those whiteboard videos are just to give a little bit more info about you know me running as a Tron SR or info about running into the election. So I will release a few more videos definitely leading up to it. Um, live streaming, I am looking at that. I'm going to try and see if I get one up and running from there. And then yeah, we'll push it forward from there. Awesome. In general, why do you think Tronix should support your team? What incentive does the community have? So really, you know, at the end of the day, from a Tron community perspective, I, you know, I want the community to see me as a community man. Um, you know, I'm definitely not a corporate. I definitely do not have a big company sponsoring me here. <laughs> so I need to look after the community. That's that's my number one. Um, and doing that, you know, there's, there's several things that I think need to be done. You know, one is I need, you know, future test net. Um, you know, we need to be active on there. We need to be active there, give feedback to the developers, let them know how everything's going. Because obviously involvement there is ensuring that Tron's future is secure and the development is sound. You know, that's definitely one side of it. I'll carry on putting out content that will help grow the community, help the community know how to do things on the Tron network. Um, so the how-to guides will definitely continue. Uh, promoting via the social media is the content I make. That will also definitely continue. And then obviously what's quite important is sharing back with the voters. So I'll definitely share some of the rewards that I make back to the voters. I'm looking at this stage at sharing about 75% to voters and then 5% I want to keep for donations to give to um, developers that are like making interesting projects around it. So if you go to the Slack channel, you'll definitely see a lot of developers there. A lot of them keen to make uh, stuff around the Tron network. So that is one drive also that I would like to have. Well done. Before we end this interview, is there any last word you would like to share to the community? Okay, not a problem. So, so look, you know, like I said, I, I really want to be a community man, so I need the support if you want to call it that. So I've got, you know, on my website, I've got to uh, subscribe to the mailing list. I appreciate if everyone can subscribe to the mailing list because leading up to the elections, I'll keep them up to date what needs to be done, how to participate. Um, and then, yeah, if you're keen for someone that is community driven to take um, a Tron SR slot, vote for me. Thank you very much, Crypto Guy in Zia, for your time to conduct this interview with us. We wish you all the best in the election. I hope so too. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Appreciate it. Bye.